Hello. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got for you a day in the life reading vlog. I'm going to be reading The Drowning Time by Jennifer McMahon. It is a book that comes out, I think, April 6th. Uh, it comes out in April and uh, it's an early audiobook that Danielle got and so I'm going to give that a read because I enjoyed The Winter People, which she also wrote, gave that five stars. I um, also did that in a winter reading vlog to start off the year. I think it was the start of the year. Uh, if you have not seen that video, check it out up here. It's a really cool video, and it was really fun. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to read that. I might read some other books in this. Obviously, if you clicked on the video, you see the thumbnail. You know what I'm going to be reading. As of right now, at this time that I'm filming in the morning, I've got no idea what I'm going to read with this book. So, But you guys are going to see what it is. Uh, yeah, otherwise, we're going to get this thing started. going to start the book. I think we're going to be letting the dog out here in a minute. And uh, then we got some returns for books later today. It's going to be a fun day and you're going to you're gonna watch it happen. Also, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like content like this. And uh, otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a sec. All right, guys, it's about 8.50 in the morning. And I am currently reading Jennifer McMahon, The Drowning Kind. I read The Winter People by her earlier this year might have been earlier this year it could have been the end of last year i don't remember it's a really good book gave it five stars had like some pet cemetery vibes really loved it um so now i'm reading the drowning kind which is actually a book that does not come out for a little while i think uh danielle was given a credit to read it early and so i'm gonna read it so currently I'm about 4% through. Again, I don't have a physical copy. I'm only kind of doing it through NetGalley. It's about a girl named Jax who goes to uh, visit her, uh, her sister at their grandmother's house, but she's dead. She dies. Uh, she drowns in the pool uh, or lake in the back in the back. And apparently, like, she was doing research. This is part of the synopsis, so it's not, not like, really spoiling anything. Uh, she, like, said that she was doing research on, like, the family estate. And I guess some weird things happen with the water. Like, it grants wishes, but it, like, in, like, an evil way. Like, it takes something. So, I don't know what that means. It sounds interesting. Again, I'm not that deep into it so far, but I am enjoying the story, and I cannot wait to continue reading this. Uh, we're also going to be doing kind of a come shop with me today, so you're going to be seeing, like, behind the scenes of that in this video as well. Otherwise, we hit a thousand. Thank you so much. It's a really fun adventure so far, and I can't wait to keep going and growing, and I thank you all so much. And uh, we're going to keep reading this book. We're going to go shop for some books. And uh, it's going to be a jolly old time. We just got back inside from playing with Bailey the Doge and I am currently about 26% through the book again I don't have a physical copy so I can't tell you what page I'm on um, but I'm about 26% of the way through The Drowning Kind and so far I'm really intrigued with this book uh Lexi I don't know because in the synopsis I guess it tells you that she dies so I guess it's not really a spoiler 
So Lexi is the sister of Jax, and Jax uh, was getting phone calls nonstop one night from Lexi, and Lexi ends up dying in the pool at their aunt's house. And what happened was, I guess she was trying to, like, investigate something about what's going on with the pool. Because she keeps saying, like, I saw it again. I'm What I'm seeing is legit. I'm not, you know, I'm not making this up. And so her belief is that there's something in the pool that is causing some mischief. And what's going on is when you go to the pool, you look at your reflection, and you wish for something, it comes true. But it comes at a cost. So, uh, when they were young, I think, so there's two, like, time frames in this. There's 2019, and then there's, they all go all the way back to, like, 2020, 2019, 29, I think is the other date that they keep going back to. So, like, a big time difference, but, like, I don't know how old these people are. So, if it's between 1929 and 2019, that's a 90-year difference. That doesn't sound right. I don't know. When they say it again, I'll figure it out. But it there's like it's like nineteen, it's like the early nineteen hundreds, and then twenty nineteen. So I don't know how this timing is working out right now, but I'll figure it out. Um, so far I'm enjoying the book. I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen, and I'm trying to also figure out whose perspective we're in in nineteen twenty nine. I guess it could be the grandmas or the aunts. Very possible. Um, so I guess it could be 1929 and 2019. I'll figure it out. I'll let you guys know in the next update. Um, any theories so far? I've got none. This book is confusing. Like, not like confusing me. I know what's happening, but I'm just like, I'm lost in terms of what it could be. So obviously there's probably something in the pool that's causing issues, mischief. When you make a wish, you say it into the pool, whatever creature is in there is probably hearing it, makes it come true, and then kill somebody. I... I that's my guess. That's the best guess I have right now. So we'll see what happens. I'm very intrigued with this. Um, I, I'm like getting a Stephen King vibe with this book, but I can't picture the book. Uh, I don't know. It'll come to me later. Um, but yeah, so far, very intriguing. And we will, uh, uh, we got to unbox a package for Bailey uh, called Grounded Hounds, which uh, Danielle will kind of talk about it in the next clip. So uh We'll uh, see you guys in a minute. All right, so we got this package in yesterday called Grounded Hounds, and Danielle is going to tell you a little bit about it. We got this package in from Grounds and Hounds. It's coffee and dog themed, basically. This is everything that they've done with their purchases and through their company. And look at this glass we got with a bunch of dogs on it. Here's Bailey. And then we got this cute sticker for Zach. This cute pin, because I collect pins. Oh my goodness. And then we got him this dog toy, and we're going to give Bailey the dog toy, right? Yes. Inside the dog toy, which as you can hear, it's very annoying. And Bailey's right here, so she knows what's about to happen. There is little beans inside. Coffee beans. And there's two of them, I think. And it's like one of those toys where Bailey's going to have to, like, get, get them, like, out. Um... We used to have another toy like this with like chicken legs or something like that and she tore those apart. So, but she's been better at not tearing toys apart. So we're hoping that she keeps up with this one. And uh, I mean, just look at the excitement she's got. She's literally on top of Danielle right now, wanting these toys. And uh, I mean, her mouth is just open. She's ready. <laughs> she's ready for it. Oh my goodness. Bay! Good sit. <laughs> All right. All right. So, like we just showed you, we got that ground and hounds thing, and Bailey has been like all over me trying to get this toy, and we're going to try and give it to her now. And she is like, "Hey, where's the toy?" Bait, sit. Hey, you want the toy? Sit, sit, Bubba. Sit, sit. Or lay. That works too. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. She is a lunatic with new toys. I give this thing maybe an hour. <laughs> All right, we've been out running some errands today. Um, we uh, returned, or we're going to return some Barnes and Noble books. 
uh, also into half price books. We're filming a come shop with me at the same time. So I don't know which one's gonna go up first, but you're going to see some footage that might overlap. Um, and this is why we're doing a day in the life and a come shop with me in the same day. So we just got the Barnes and Noble. Uh, I gotta sell some books back here or we'll return them. They don't, yeah, whatever. Half price books does the sell back. Um, but we got to return some books here. Um, and, uh, then we're going to pick up some lunch and go home, read some more of that book and, uh, try and finish it today. Might play some, I I'm, I've been playing the Sims, the complete collection a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm, I've been kind of doing that, but I also did also find Halo 4 and I've been playing that a lot too. And so while I'm reading, I'm kind of debating whether I should do Sims or Halo 4. So we're not sure yet. Uh, we'll get home and we'll figure it out. Um, but first, Barnes & Noble, pick up some lunch, and uh, we'll uh, see, you, see you in a bit. Barnes and Noble, and we are on our way to um, Raising Cane's. Gonna get some lunch, some chicken fingers. Uh, honestly, probably the best chicken fingers I've ever had. If you have not had Raising Cane's before, I highly recommend that. Five stars. Um, yeah, so uh, this uh, just returning stuff turned into a little more. So, uh, yeah, but we had to. We did store credit, so we had yeah, so, the gift card to do it. <laughs> uh, like, like two bags worth, you know, no big deal, it's fine. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, be heading on to Raisin Cane's, get some lunch, and then uh, be on our way home so we can read some books. And uh, the decision was made that I'm going to be playing Halo 4. Um, yeah, I've beaten 2 and 3, and well, it's been like 10 years, but whatever. Um, but yeah. We'll uh, be doing that when we get home. Uh, possibly organize some bookshelves because I got some new king to put on there. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I am about 53% of the way through The Drowning Time by Jennifer McMahon. And I am actually really enjoying this book. Um, it actually does not have any, like, relativeness to a Stephen King book. I thought there was something, but there's not. So, scratch that. Uh, it is between the times of 2019 and 20, uh, 1929. Uh, so, I was right on that. What I'm getting at, what I'm thinking is happening is the time frame of 1929 is the mother of the people from 2019. And both are experiencing issues with this lake or this pool in the back of this hotel. And a lot of things are going wrong and I'm just all for it. I'm ready for what the outcome is going to be. The one girl who died in 2019, um, which was in the synopsis, or had ordered some like harpoon gun and some like harpoons to go with it and her father and the sister Jax are all there with their aunt Diana I think is her name I, I'm like mixing up people between the timelines and I'm trying to like narrow it down but I think it was uh aunt Diana aunt Diane um and their father and Jax are all kind of at the the hotel and trying to figure out you know, why she ordered this, what's going on, and it's been a heck of a good time. 
So I'll uh, probably do another update at around like the 75% mark, 76. Um, we'll see if I, hopefully I can stop it. Cause I'm like, I had a hard time stopping it where I'm at now. Cause I'm like really into this. So, so far I've got no predictions. Obviously there's some kind of thing in the water, but besides that, I don't know. So, and obviously this book isn't out yet. So I'm not, when I do find out what it is, I'm not going to reveal it to you. You're going to have to wait for the book. Uh, but otherwise, it's a very good book, and I am recommending it so far. Star rating, unknown, because I don't know what's going to happen. So, we'll see you, uh, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I just finished The Drowning Kind by Jennifer McMahon. I cannot give any spoilers, because the book has not even come out yet. Um, but I am going to give it four stars. I did think it was a really solid read. Uh, so, uh, towards the end, some parts kind of got confusing. They kind of threw a bunch of names at you. And so you're kind of like, okay, is this person happened to be related to this person? You're trying to piece it together. And that kind of got irritated with me. So that's why it's kind of a lower rating for me. Just because they kind of throw a whole bunch of names at the end. And you're trying to like piece something together that, you know, if, if there even is something you're trying to connect. But regardless, good book. I'm going to give it four stars. Um, I'm going to be reading two more books that are going to be short ones on here. Um, first one I'm going to read, well, I'm, I haven't decided the order, but the other ones I'm going to read is The Crucible by Arthur Miller. Read this in high school. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, it is a short read and I, I haven't read it since high school, so it's been a while. The other one I'm going to be reading is The Turtle Boy by Keelan Patrick Burke. Um, don't remember what this, I don't remember what this one's about. I think it's about some random kid and uh, some turtle. Um, so I can vaguely remember, um, the crucible, if you don't know what that is, it's the Salem's witch trials, um, from like a long time ago. Um, the movie was really good. Daniel Day Lewis does a really good job in that movie. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, another movie I haven't seen in forever. Um, but yes, so I'm going to be reading the crucible, Arthur Miller and Keelan Patrick Burke's the turtle boy. Uh, again, don't know the order, but we're going to start that up in a little bit. I'm going to keep playing Halo 4. All right, guys, we are chilling in my library right now. Uh, I just finished The Turtle Boy by Keelan Patrick Burke. Um, it was a really weird book. I actually really enjoyed it. And I guess this is like book one of like a six book series, I think it is. Um, really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it four, 4.25 stars. Um, don't think it was quite like uh, Sour Candy was, but Keelan Patrick Burke has really been like a good author for me and I'm really digging him. Um, and again, like I said, Jennifer McMahon, The Drowning Kind, four stars. Uh, so far, she's about a four and a half rating between the two books I've read, The Winter People and The Drowning Kind. Um, so both really good books. Uh, the Drowning Kind doesn't come out until, uh, I want to say it's going to be April. April 6th, I think. Yeah, April 6th, I think is when that one's coming out. We'll link it below. We'll have that link down below. Really good book. I do recommend it. And same with The Turtle Boy. Unfortunately, I had no time to get to Crucible today, so uh, maybe we'll do that for another video. I am planning to do some classic reads, which if you follow me on Instagram, you recently were able to vote on the one I'm doing. Um, so The Outsiders, you'll be seeing that in a reading vlog soon, but uh, I'm not going to tell you the other two books. Those two are going to be a surprise. So fun time. Enjoy the books. Uh, and again, if you like content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it was really fun. It was a good day. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.